it's Parker from testprepchampions.com and today I'm doing another video of the day for math and this problem comes again out of my GED Math Champions Guide 50 problem free sample so you can get that if you want to I'll put the link down below that is free and if you're new around here please consider subscribing because I make new videos often to help you guys pass the GED test even faster and get higher scores. So today's question is about fraction and decimal equivalence that's the topic so go ahead pause the video if you'd like to and try to figure this out on your own. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to try this. The question is, which of the following is false? 1 fourth equals 0.25, 2 fourths equals 0.50, 3 fourths equals 0.75, 4 fourths equals 1. Or E, all of none, all of the above are true. So one way that you can always check this is to use a calculator. So you could put in 1 divided by 4, press the equal sign, 2 divided by 4, press the equal sign, 3 divided by 4, hit equals, 4 divided by 4, hit equals, right? And that's going to tell you if the fractions are equivalent to the decimal. So anytime that you have a fraction, I don't care what it is, if it's, you know, 5, 8, it doesn't matter whatever the fraction is, I just made that up. You can always convert the fraction to a decimal just by dividing the top number by the bottom number in your calculator. So that's the first thing, but I think even easier without even doing any calculations, these are all values that are good to know. So the answer is E, all of the above are true. Like I said, you can check that in your calculator or you can just memorize these. So for the GED math section, there's not a whole lot to memorize, but memorizing your the fourths are going to be really helpful for you. And I filmed a whole video on fractions and I've given you some other values uh, as far as fractions and decimal equivalents that are really good to know, but these are the bare essentials. So you need to know that one fourth equals 0.25, two fourths equals 0 0.50, and or 0.5, three fourths equals 0 0.75, and four fourths equals one. So a really good e easy way to remember this whenever you see the fourths is to think about quarters. So if you've got one, if you've got one quarter, you've got 25 cents. One fourth equals 0.25. If you've got two quarters, you've got 50 cents. So two fourths equals 0.5. If you've got three quarters, that's equal to 75 cents. So three out of four, three fourths is 0.75. And if you've got four quarters, you've got a dollar. So four fourths equals one. So that's an easy way to remember this. You might want to jot these down in your notes because these are going to be helpful to remember. So some of you might have got this problem just by looking at it and you knew right away that the answer was E. So if you did that, congratulations. Good job. You're on the right track. And if not, that's fine. Don't be discouraged. Add this to your notes and remember these because they're going to come up more and more often. And you might even want to go watch my video on how to make fractions easier. And that should help you with this as well. That's the problem of the day, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, please consider subscribing or hit the like button because that's going to let me know if this video is helpful for you or not. And also, you can get that free 50 problems down below. I'll put the link and you can check that out. So thanks a lot.